Why, hello there, everybody. My name is Fretex, and welcome back to the beautiful world of Kingdom Come Deliverance. Now, of course, if you haven't seen the other episodes, go and watch those first. But our current mission for the start of today is to go and talk to the bailiff who's in this tower here. Now, the idea is that we just signed ourselves up to try and serve our lord, Sir Razik, and but he wants us to go and get experience as a guard to keep the peace in this nearby town. I'm pretty sure the guard in question is going to be up here somewhere. Uh, sorry, guard. I mean bailiff. And hopefully he'll let me get a job quite soon because uh, Henry, you see, he's a bit poor. And we need to pay off our debts to various people as well. So having an opportunity to get money and have a job is going to be pretty good. Hello, sir. Are you the bailiff? My respects to you. You as well. Uh, I'm here to join the bailiff service. I'm to put myself under the bailiff's command. Ah, so you're the young man Sir Radzig appointed. Yes. Simple as that. <laughs> Very yep. well. Sir Radzig asked me to test you a little. And as it happens, you've come at the right time. What? We have a few disputes to settle. It seems some of your former neighbors have been acting quite inappropriately. I was hoping having one of their own on the town watch might help sort things out. Fair enough. Seems good enough to me. Uh, what? Why would I say this? I just, I just got a brand new job, and this is my boss. And the first thing I'm going to say is you should look after them better. I feel like <laughs> this is not a good way to start off a relationship here. I'll tell you what. We want Henry to become the most chivalric Powerful knight in the entire land. So we're going to say you can rely on me, sir, and we're going to do our job as much as we can. You can count on me, bailiff. You're certainly bold. I like that. Have you been to see Captain Bernard? Yes, he kicked my arse yesterday. Uh, what was this? Challenge me? I don't think we should spread around the town that I defeated a lord in combat as a peasant. I think this is probably not a very good idea in any sense of the word. But Henry, why do you think this? I thought the captain and me got along great yesterday. We had a good time beating each other up with swords and stuff. I thought it was a good day. I'm going to say we're going to stick to the most respectful version here. It was quite an ordeal. I have, and I have the bruises to prove it. The captain doesn't hold back. The harder the training, the easier the battle. Tell me well, about anyway, it. you're going to assist my town guard. Come to the church in the afternoon. Yaroslav the Watchman, Nightingale they call him, will wait for you there. He'll show you around the town and teach you a little about keeping the peace. And you need to stop by the armory to pick up some gear. Yes, please. Ooh, free equipment. I'll take that. I'm looking forward to it because Kenry kind of looks a bit like a peasant at the moment. Well, actually, he is a peasant, exactly. <laughs> so the better, we'll talk, look, the quicker we get ourselves some really nice shiny armor, the better I'm going to fit as a human being. Simple as that. Uh, apparently, someone can teach me to read here. I want to learn to read. Who should I go and see? There's a retired scribe in Ujits. He could teach you. Definitely want to learn how to read as soon as possible because if we're going to be like running around with nobles and stuff, then, well, in general, not being able to read could get us killed at some point. So I think we're going to get that sorted out. There is more questions we can ask and I think some side quests, but we'll do that later after we do the first initial thing here. So I don't know if you guys have noticed, but we actually have uh, been given some money, 70 grossen, which means we can go and pay off the debt to the uh, miller way back in the town across the yonder there. Just over this way. But we do that in the evening after we finish our day shift. So apparently, I have until 11 to go and start my patrol. We've also got to run over to the armory first and get some equipment. So if I have a look, it's just 11 now. So I'm going to take the risk of being scolded and sprint over and get my equipment first and then run over and talk to Nightingale. I mean, the guys are probably going to tell me, like, why have you not got your equipment anyway, right? So I think it makes sense to go and do this first. I wonder if we're going to be giving stuff like this guy here. Can you imagine? I mean, like, right now we have literally nothing apart from stuff I nicked off of dead bandits and stuff. So any equipment being given to me is going to be better than what I have right now, for sure. Okay, so I think this is the armory. Ah. Wow, this is the smallest armory I've ever seen in my entire life. There's, there's no battles over here. <laughs> hey, friend. I was told to pick up a kit here. Name? Henry. Henry. And in fealty too? Sir Radzik Kobola. Hmm. Yes, I've got you. Well, come on in then. Make yourself at home, Henry. If my memory serves me, you're entitled to a helmet, a gambeson, and a club. A club? That's all. You want a kiss and a hug as well? Yes. I mean equipment. It's quite enough for patrolling the town. You're there to stop trouble, not start it. I mean, to be fair, if you give a dude like a giant sword or a morning star and he's going to be beating up uh, peasants, it's not going to end very well for you. <laughs> so I'm kind of happy that they gave me a club and stuff instead. So, of course, we have lost our sword from the other day. So we only have this stuff now, but we'll equip this anyway. Uh, hopefully you can beat some people up with it later. And we've also now got our new coif. Ooh, it's actually not as good as my current one. Interesting. 
Very interesting. So I think we won't equip that one, but we will, of course, put on the helmet over the top of it. And also we have ourselves some lightly padded armor. Is that the new one I've just been given? Yes, I presume it would be with the durability there. My God. <laughs> so we've got some improvements of body armor and stuff, but nothing too crazy. That's all we got, though. Nothing really too good, but at least we look a little bit better when it comes to equipment, even if um, we haven't really got much value otherwise. I mean, this thing here that I was wearing, it does give me protection, so I will keep it on. But it does look absolutely awful. I wonder if after our shift we can go and um, get some equipment repaired. Or maybe buy some new equipment. So we can look a little bit better. Because I like how in the game equipment wears and actually physically looks worse as you use it. So I think it's pretty awesome that if we go and get it fixed we should look more presentable in the future here. I gotta say this town's pretty dead in the day. I know it's only midday but shouldn't people be like running around doing jobs and stuff? I can only see guards. It feels like we're living in like, some kind of dystopian future or something. But there are beggars everywhere. But shit. We have to get some food later as well. Hopefully, we if we keep doing a good job as a guard, we might get given like a horse at some point. Uh, are you the guy? Yes, he is. Look at this dude. He's got so much stuff on him. This guy must be a very high level guard because he's got like full armor, like weapons, swords, bows, everything. Here I am. My name is Henry. We're supposed to go on patrol together. I see you're kitted out. Ready to get going. Well, best I can be. <laughs> I'm Nightingale. Aren't you that lad the mill wench brought here on a cart? One and the same. Um, wait, why can I... Why would you be confrontational, Henry? Let's be a nice person here. Yes, that's me. Teresa. Yes, she rescued me. She turned up with Captain Robot and his knights. All honour to the girl. She has bigger balls than most men. Not wrong. Tell me, how did you pay her back? Well, um, I, um, I thanked her. That's not much, is it? You should go and see her when you get a chance. So, how did you end up in the service of the courtship? Oh no, <laughs> that's going to be uh, awkward to record. <laughs> Milady, I have brought you the finest fish in the realm. Please love me. Okay, so what was the question? He wants to ask why I want to do this, right? Clearly, I want to serve my lord, Sir Radzik, so he makes me a sworn man under his retinue. I wanted to enter the service of Sir Radzik, but he sent me here to learn. And learn you will. You're lucky, lad. Sir Radzik must like you. Most lords would have just sent you on your way. Come with me, Henry. We'll patrol the town and then check on the taverns to make sure they lock up in the evening. I'm ready. He does seem very nice, sir, Ransom. I'm supposed to try you out and, with the help of God, teach you something. Good luck so with I that. I expect you to deal with any misconduct yourself. I'll make sure you don't do anything too stupid. Let's go. Watch that. I would like to say, what are the rules of this town? Because I have no this idea. This is our church, St. Matthew's. Okay, we're not going to go over that. Fair enough. Hopefully he, just, he discusses rules as we're walking around, or I might make the wrong call. <laughs> it serves not only as the house of God, but as the crypt of the Lords of Lypa, our masters. Fair enough. The gravedigger lives right round the corner. The priest, too. Our this guy's so priest. fast. Ah, a man shouldn't speak ill about servants of the Lord. Interesting comment there, my friend. I think you gave away more than you probably should have already. This is our rat house. Pretty big, eh? The bailiff and his hands live there, and our maestro proto notarius, the scribe, and the jailhouse. You don't want to see me. I see how it is. I can't face you there, can I? Naturally, we have an execution or two, but he doesn't live in town. That wouldn't be proper, as I'm sure you know. That is pretty awkward. He lives by Gallows Hill, the other side of the creek. Fitting name. This Very pillory name. was brand new in autumn, and two people have already been rotting on it. Wow, that's great figures you have there. Smith lives here. Wait, is that, is that what you were going to say? <laughs> we don't like the swordsmith, you see. We just don't mention them, but we need them to get weapons, so we have to let them be. What the hell is going on here now? Go and check it out, Henry. What's up here then? Is that manure pile not big enough for you? Oh my god, what's happening? There's a, a, a disagreement. What are you two screeching about? Stop making such a ruckus. <laughs> Finger wag! Turned up. This filthy beggar thinks. My name is Jane. Is, is no it one Jane? cares what your name is. This filthy beggar thinks she can come and stink in front of my shop. I want you to get rid of her. I don't actually know the rules of if you can beg in places or not. So I'm just going to presume... Actually, let's, let's, let's do it this way. We're going to figure out what both people are annoyed about and we'll see if we can come to like an agreement or something. So, how is she bothering you? What's the problem here? This is my shop and I won't have beggars sitting on my doorstep. 
Let her go and squat in the square. She won't be in anyone's way there, and there's plenty of folk to beg from. Interesting. What about you, Jane? Must you sit here, of all places? Yes, I do. Why? Why? Folk drive me away wherever I sit. I can't keep walking all day and night. Then go somewhere you'll have to beg then. <laughs> I think, okay, so out of all the options here, I think we've got to be a bit careful because I think like these two are siding with one side and this one's just flat out failing as a guard. So we're not going to pick those ones. But the Christian one might work because at this time period, was it 1404 or something re relatively around that time period? Very, very important to be seen as a good Christian. So I think this might work out. Can't you show us some Christian charity, Armourer? What? Have you any idea how much I've given away in alms, even to this witch only yesterday? Is that true? Might be. Ah, oh, hell no, beggar. Did I'm you not get on your any side anymore. Or not? Yes. From the armorer here. I don't know. And even if I did, that was yesterday, and my belly's empty again today. That's true. What would you know about it? Well, what you just told me, sir. So, <laughs> I just like, I can probably try and just give them money to get rid of the situation, but I'm a cheapskate, so I don't want to lose too much cash here. I uh, give Jane Alms armor. So that's more demanding, but this guy seems like he has a high standing in the town. I mean, looking at his clothes, I reckon he would immediately reject this completely. But we could do a compromise and maybe see if we can both give money to the Jane to like kind of offset it a little bit. I think that's probably the best option. And also it's speech, right? So we might get some more uh, skills and stuff at that point. We're both good Christians, aren't we? We should each give something to the poor soul. And what then? Then Jane will be on her way. Immediately. King Solomon now, are you, lad? Fine. Nice. Fine, have it your way. God bless you, and and you too, citizen. I won't be a nuisance no more, really. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus, you're as bad as each other. Though if she was given money from yesterday and she's here, she'd probably be back next day. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll see what happens. So I leveled up twice, by the way. I, I forgot the first one. But when we when we talk to the bailiff, we actually leveled up speech. So we can now pick three options here. So we've got final offer. Uh, when a trailer loses patience with you, you get an extra chance. Not that bothered about that one. And we've got highborn. Your speech level, level is increased by three when talking to nobles and wealthy people. But you can't pick the lowborn trait, which is the opposite. I feel like if we're going to be talking to a noble that can probably kill us with a click of a finger compared to Steve at the tavern who might just get beaten up a little bit, I think we want to probably side with being highborn, in my opinion. So we're going to grab this skill right away. Done. And also, we got another level on the main here. So is there new perks? Yes, there are new perks. So we've got Wanderer. I think a lot of these are already around from before, like Knight Rider and Aesthetic and stuff. Uh, Wanderer. We've seen that one before as well. It doesn't seem that any of these perks are that useful. One thing I would do, though, is probably pick Insomniac because it says increase the time you can do without sleep. Your energy level falls one quarter more slowly. That seems like a general upgrade for the whole character. If there's some reason like a night mission and we're outside and not, we're going to need a lot of energy, right? So I think this might be a good idea for the future here. Let's grab this. Done. Okay. Where are we going, buddy? Oh, sorry, sir. I guess we're just patrolling again. <laughs> he didn't even comment about how I went. I did with the beggar. Ah, Your whatever. Your old neighbours are living here now. It's a bit of a shithole. Even so, you should be thankful to Sir Hanush. If the town burghers got their way, your folk wouldn't be led anywhere near the town. And now our people aren't too happy with him. Some fools are even calling for Sir Hanush to finally hand the fiefdom over to the young lord, Sir Hans Capon. Sir Hans's father, old Sir Yeshke, may God rest his soul, kept it till he was an old man. Then he retired from it, first to Moravia, then to eternity. Sir Hanush is managing the fiefdom until Sir Hans comes of age. They're related by blood somehow, the same great-great-grandfather or some such. The time's coming soon enough when the estates have to be handed over. These affairs often end in conflict. I hope we have nothing like that here. Well, we've met both these characters already, so I think they... I hope there won't be conflict between them, because that bit guy seemed pretty cool when we saw him in the cutscene a few episodes ago. The doggo! Are we going to interact with the dog? No, we're just moving on. <laughs> Fair enough. Ah, hey, boy. I definitely want to get a dog, 100%. Yeah, because um, one thing I will say, though, is that, like, if there is conflict, that younger guy seemed quite rash. If he was running around attacking people like he did with me, because we literally had to fight him last episode. So maybe he's not going to be as kind of the peasantry as his uncle or blood relative is. 
This square here, it looks much better during the markets. Then it's filled to bursting with folk from all around. Interesting. I think the game actually has market days, by the way. So you can come here and it's like completely different for a few days. I think that's pretty awesome. I love the uh, level of detail there. We've also got the baker's shop here and that mad merchant Wolfram Pruder. Pruder has a pretty daughter, but he what? keeps her on a short reign, which the young bucks are none too happy about. I heard he even keeps the poor lass locked up at home all day. What a weird thing to bring up on a patrol. Fair enough. He's like, I'm one of those young bucks, you see. <laughs> Every see night, I try. See that filthy beggar? By Christ, I'll show the bastard. Wait, what? Are you not allowed to beg in the streets? You gotta tell me the rules, man. How am I meant to protect the peace throughout the rules? Hi. Comfortable, are we? Arms, please, sir. Who do you take me for? Are you stupid or just insolent? Well, what's the matter? Stupid, then. There's no begging allowed here, so pick up your stinking arse and haul it somewhere else. Who am I bothering here? Me. Us. Everyone. If Sir Hanu saw you here, he'd take a whip to you. All right, all right, I'm going. Damn so you're not either beggars. beg, then? You offer them a helping hand, and they want the whole arm. It's not like the rules aren't clear. Beggars belong at the church. Oh, yeah, There's I knew that. There's yep. here on the market square. The okay. trader's tavern. The other's up by the gate. We'll be going there later. Oh, so I really should have just kicked that beggar out of this out of the area then, if we saw them next time. We know that for now though, right? If we go and see more beggars, we can just tell them to go to the church. Simple. Let's move along to the inner bailey. Is that another church again? There's a lot of churches around here. Then again, this place has like three castles as well, so. I guess it's more there must be engineers that own this place. Redundancy, right? Oh, we have four churches, five yards. <laughs> it's fine. Hey, oh. here's the forge. The blacksmith has some trouble and he's not working at the moment, but his apprentice is standing in for him tolerably. I hear you're a blacksmith's apprentice too. You lot could help if needed, couldn't you? Us? Ooh. What do you mean? You and your master or your father, whoever told oh, you. Don't bring this up. Hey. What is it, lad? They're dead. My father was the master blacksmith. He was killed in Scalitz. Ah, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Thank you. So am I. My papa died not long ago. Of course, it was old age got him. That's not the same, but I know a little how you feel. Ah, sadness. I'm just memorying, the, by the way, the wear on his uniform, by the way. It's pretty awesome. I love the... Uh, I, I presume if I get one of those myself and it's like fully pristine, it won't have any tears in it at all. Is that a gambler? No chance I'm doing that. <laughs> I will lose all my money in a matter of moments, without a doubt. We seem to be going near the armory again, aren't we? Maybe this is going to be the end of the, the troll scene. fiefdom is pretty big. Naturally, it starts here by the town and continues along the Sassau River all the way to Kohelnitz. Then there's Gallows Hill, lots of farmhouses scattered around. Neuhof, Merhoyed. Master Smill is in charge of Sir Hanush's stables. He's by far his best vassal. It's all a bit complicated for a newcomer, I suppose. This lord here, that lord there, this exemption here, that right there. Exemptions from exemptions, rights to half of something, and so on. It'd take you a year to make head or tail of it. This tower was only half the size when I was a young lad. Sir Hanush had it extended and made into an armory. How can you have a tower half the size and it won't even go over the walls? I question your... <laughs> they must have also doubled the size of the walls as well, I, I believe. Are we going to go on the walls itself? Ah, oh, I can't want to go up there and see what it looks like there. Ah, oh, I was hoping we were going to go on the walls, everybody. But it looks like we're not going to do that at this point. But that would be pretty cool, though. Hopefully we get to do like, a, some kind of like battle at some point. We're on the battlement shooting up arrows and stuff. That would be pretty epic. I actually can't remember the end of the game. I know roughly what happened at the end, but nothing too particular in my mind. So it should be kind of a new experience to me, even though I've done it before, like, six, seven years ago. So looking forward to seeing what happens in the story. Mm, there's a beggar over there. Are we going to kick their ass? Nope, we don't care this time. <laughs> God be with you, Benesh. How goes it? Well enough, Nightingale. It's quiet today. Good. Where's Moimir, anyway? Isn't he supposed to be here with you? Ah, uh, yes. He hasn't turned up yet. Oh, I see. Now, where might he have got to, then? I don't know. You don't know, eh? Let me tell you something. 
When the bailiff finds out Moimir's slacking off, he'll be in serious shit. And being a friend of his, you wouldn't want that, would you? No. So it's better if I deal with it and we leave the bailiff out of it, right? Um, yes, I suppose so. So where is he? Uh, in the tavern. He was thirsty, so he... Went for an ale. We know how that goes. Come on, Henry. Let's go and find that idler, and you'd better talk some sense into him. Let's go. We have the club. <laughs> you will get back to work, or I'll club you to death. Uh-oh. Capon's here, right? Yeah, he's here, so we might have to have another conflict in a second. What the fuck are you doing here when you're supposed to be on the gate? <sighs> Move your carcass and go and guard the gate. Uh, I... Not a word. Get moving. You're lucky it was me found out, not the bailiff, or God forbid, Captain Bernard. Out! Yeah, you get back to work, eh? Or I'll club you. Come and sit with me, Henry. Let's have a drink. What? You hypocrite. Oh, I mean, sorry, sir. Yes, right away, sir. <laughs> what the hell? Can you imagine being kicked out of the cabin and he goes and sits down right away that afterwards? got me all worked up. I have to do it. I can't let this man just be such a blatant hypocrite. It might get me killed, but for the good of society. Shouldn't we be on patrol instead of drinking? You're eager, aren't you? Don't worry. Even watchmen are entitled to a break. Oh, they really? Are they? On the gate in the tower, of course. Oh, okay. But that's enough about that. Let's not let it spoil our day. Listen, since we're sitting here anyway, how about a little game? Oh, no. We have to do it for the YouTube, right? But I'm not going to gamble in this game normally. But we have to see how it works. And we have to see how I lose my money. It's as simple as that. Why not? What is happening? You're a brave soul taking me on. I'm not used to losing. I really have no idea what I'm doing. Let's have a look at help. Oh my god, there's so much stuff here. Okay, uh, if you want to try your hand at gambling, it's possible to play the dice game of Farkel in every respectable tavern. The goal is, the goal of this two-player game is to be the first to reach a certain number of points. Six dice are thrown and the players alternate turns. Points are gained for every one of five thrown and the three or more of a kind of any number scoring is a follow point. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, this is, looks very complicated. We're not going to read through all this because I'm not going to be that interested in doing it. But we're just going to hope, because it's gambling, right? We're just going to hope that we just throw stuff and it works out. That's what I normally try and do with these things. Okay. Hey, um, so I decided to skip a lot of this because it wasn't really that interesting. The guy's just kicking my ass. You can see he's got way more points than me. And this man rolls ones every five, six seconds. So he's literally gifted by That's the gods what I here. Wanted. And it's over. <laughs> I never go I never gamble myself. Um, this is why, because I'm very unlucky. It just doesn't work out for me. It looks like night has arrived. Just one more thing and we're done for the night. Okay. Bringing the end of the day and closing the taverns. Isn't it still a bit early? I don't know how it was in Scarlet, but here in Rate we close up at this hour. Except, of course, during fairs and big festivals. Then we don't close at all. Interesting. Should I go and ring the bell? If you wouldn't mind, the bell is hanging outside the rat house. Ring three times, then go to the trader's tavern by the market square and make sure the innkeeper closes up. I'll do that. Before I forget, it's forbidden to walk in Rate at night without a torch. Here, take this one. Oh, interesting. I've lost everything. Okay, let's get going. I like how we say it's forbidden and then everyone's walking around without a torch. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Anyway, so I think it said near the rat eye, which is where we went to the bailiff at the start of the episode. So we'll quickly run over there if we can and get that sorted out. Uh, that beggar's back here again. Oh my god, we're going to need to slap him into sleep with our little club here, but we'll do it a bit later on. So he said also go to the tavern by the square, which I think would be this one. So we have to double back on this in a second. I don't know why there's like four taverns in a row next to each other. It seems a bit excessive, you ask me. But then again, I live in England, which has like... More, to be sure to give it back tomorrow. which has a stupidly large amount of pubs in every location at all times. Or at least it used to, not so much these days, they closed down now, but it used to be a thing. So we got to look out for the bell. Um, he said it was, what did he say, it was near the entrance? I mean, luckily we got a, ah, there it is. Three times, right?
Did that count as three times? I guess it did. <laughs> Close the Traders Tavern by the Market Square. Interesting. I, I do kind of like how everyone's like trying to run back into the house and stuff. I presume they sleep all night. Because you can actually play the game as a criminal, can't you? So you could have probably had a whole different skill set if you went to work with a miller. You could have been a criminal running around at night, stealing things if you wanted to. Loads of different choices in these games. I reckon... I'm going to call this out before we get there. I reckon uh, Capon's there. Always in the evening, while there's still a bit of light. And the canon of St. Wenceslas in Olomouc was so drunk, <laughs> he dragged the pig to the market square, saddled it up, <laughs> and rode it out of the town gate! <laughs> no, 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 we can, we can see, we can see that this wasn't going to end well. So, Sir Peter and I rode off to look for the good canon on his pig. <laughs> Did you find him? <laughs> We tracked the filthy beast down to a sty beyond Cronau. I mean, the beast with a tonsier on its head. <laughs> we never found the real pig, but the reverend was sound asleep in the pigsty. <laughs> Birds of a feather stick together. It seems the same goes for pigs and planets. <laughs> oh, we are screwed, by the way. Gentlemen, two pigs and planets. God <laughs> save them bacon. <laughs> Sir Hans, forgive my intrusion, but I need... Oh, but what? You uh, want to join us? Want to <laughs> buy us around? <laughs> I'm afraid we don't drink with peasants. You're not in your village now, boy. No, sir. <laughs> Curfew's been rung. The alehouse is closing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing closes while I'm sitting here. If that's all, you're dismissed. Are you out of your mind, lad? You can't cross his lordship. He's got a temper like a bear with gut egg. If I was you, I'd get lost before he shows it. The bailiff instructed me to close the tavern at the proper yeah, hour. Yeah, Henry. He doesn't want anyone disturbing the peace after curfew. The bailiff? The bailiff can kiss my ass. I trust you haven't forgotten who's the rightful lord of Rate. No. It's Sir Hanesh. He's not. Oh, is he here? What is he? He's hiding under the table, maybe. <laughs> No! Then what he wants isn't worth a fart in a bathhouse. And besides, he's only in charge till I grow up. <laughs> Which clearly hasn't happened yet. Enough. Oh no! You can't talk to me like that. I'm a nobleman. Come now, sirs. You're not going to fight here, are you? We most definitely are. This yokel needs to be taught oh, his no. place. Oh no. Oh I'm actually, okay, we're going to fight this guy. I agree with Henry. Screw this guy. Laws are laws. Go on, your grace. Show him one more. This guy's going to be beaten by my, for a second episode. No! Oh, damn it. That'll teach you how to talk to your best. Yeah, let's keep a little bit of distance again because we always have trouble with these battles. Oh, level up. I reckon I'm going to be the master of of this series, everybody. Nope. Beat him down. This guy is nowhere near as good at fighting as the uh, butcher. Oh, we done it. Crucifix! What in the name of Christ is happening here? Oh no. Hell! Answer me, damn you! This peasant insulted me. I had to teach him a lesson. By rolling around in the mud like a hog? That's a fine example of noble conduct. Sir so, Hannes, the bailiff ordered me Silence. to. Silence! You shut your mouth and thank your lucky stars that you are Radzig's ward. Have you gone out of your mind? Raising your hand to a nobleman? And you, Hans, how many times have I told you that drinking with your subjects might be good for their morale, but it's bad for your honor? <sighs> you spend all your days drinking and chasing wenches, which wouldn't matter if you paid any attention at all to your duties. And now we see what that leads to. Tomorrow, you will go with me to a hearing. Some landowners will ask me to settle a dispute. It'll be an excellent lesson for you. I had planned to go hunting, but if you think listening to the pointless gripes of a bunch of old fools will benefit me, so be it. Is this your job, man? Hunting? Well then, your grace, I'll tell you what. You can go hunting. Really? Oh, naturally. Who am I to deprive the young Lord Capon of his sport? And you can take Henry here as your pay. No, 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 we're good. Absolutely not. You'll do as I've commanded. 
It's time you learned how to lead people, and not just in drinking and brawling. Now get out of my sight. Is that page so as in I a have responsibilities of the bailiff? Not What's anymore. That? Your responsibilities now are the Lord Capon. It's time you learned how to behave in the presence of nobility. Let's go. Tell the kitchen I'm hungry. It's been a long journey. Well, isn't a page a apprentice squire and then we might become a knight from that? Is that, is that how that works? I'm not sure. Now, I could be wrong there. But regardless, we might have just made a step up in the world, even if we had to beat a dude up for it. Regardless, though, I think keeping the peace has completed here. So I guess that's in the morning, right? Our next mission. Meet more cap on at dawn in the upper castle. Okay, so I think for now, then we're going to head back uh, to go to sleep for the night. What is this? Find the nightingales. Oh, that's my side quest from last episode. Fair enough. Uh, so yeah, for now, then let's dive back and teleport back home. And also, because we can, we can now actually pay off the debt we owe to the miller as well. So we can quickly clear that up. And we have, I think, like 20 quid left over. So it's pretty awesome. Hello, everybody. I'll talk to them in the morning. I do want to talk to these people more. But I'll do it when we uh, get past some of these missions. Hey, lad. Don't you want a little wager on the Rattay tourney? No. I want to pay you back. <laughs> Let's have a look. I've got enough coin to pay you back. I've got the money to pay that debt. And I was afraid you had a chamber pot for a head. Hand it over. Is that he taking a piss out of my new hat? If you're interested. Definitely not. I'm not interested. <laughs> Fair enough. What on earth? There is a lot of stuff right now. So this guy can do tons of things. Uh, betting on tournaments. Tell me about other millers. There's loads of things we can do. I, I do want to go through this, but we'll do it when we come back to the town later on after we do these first few missions. Uh, let's go to bed for now, though. It's getting a bit dark. So when is dawn in their time period? <laughs> I'm never certain about these things. Let's see what happens in the morning. Dawn it is. Okay, let's get going right away, because I don't know if there's actually a time on these quests. We also want to make sure we don't miss things. That'd be kind of awkward there. Uh, there's also some free bread, so I'll take those as well. Wait, wasn't there... I think it doesn't replenish. There used to be free bread here at one point, a few episodes ago. There's no food? Okay, I'm going to have to make do. Maybe we can eat something we kill on the hunt. <gasps> hey, doggo! Uh, you're kind of blocking the door, buddy. <laughs> um, oh, no. <laughs> I got a plan, don't worry. Okay, I don't worry. Plan B. Aha! Luckily, they installed more than one door in houses for this exact reason. Otherwise, you'd never be able to get out of your house in the morning. Here I am. I'm overjoyed. Have you got a horse? No, mm, sir. No. <laughs> Where would someone like me get a horse? Good point. Unless it was a cart horse, I suppose. Well, you'll just have to trot along behind me like a good dog. Uh, yes, no problem. Whatever you say. God be with you. Yeah, I don't think it's probably right for us to uh, ask for a horse if I barely have any clothes on. <laughs> so. Off he goes. Is it just the two of us? Interesting. So if you're an evil player, can you just go and assassinate him in the middle of the forest? <laughs> would that really mess up the game or would it like, stop you from doing it? Because that would be like crazy. Just be like a Game of Thrones dude. Ah, sorry, Lord Kaposh was killed by a killer rabbit. Yes, it was a big shame. It took my bow and shot him in the head. Very strange situation. Walking. Hurry up, blacksmith. Yeah, this might take us a while to get to the location here. So uh, luckily I got the power of editing, guys. We're almost going to be running up behind this guy's horse for the next 10 minutes. <laughs> Look here, blacksmith. About that business at the alehouse. Yes, sir. Anush was right. I should have behaved differently. More, well, gentlemanly. But that doesn't mean you were in the right. You can't throw a lord out of the tavern in his own town. You understand? Yes. I, I was just... What? Speak up! Don't worry, I won't bite your head off. It's just that when you said those things in the arena, sir, I, I was... a um, little upset. Ah! I'd just like to tease Greenhorns a little. And you vexed me too. 
You were insolent to Captain Bernard and they rewarded you with service. Whenever I do anything reckless, even if it's for my honor, Hanush is on my back about it and I get punished, like now. I didn't mean to threaten anyone. Well, it's all water under the bridge. Let's not spoil our hunt. Oh, he's, he's actually that bad. Do you know what? I respect him more now. That was that was a good little combo we had there. I respect you, sir. I won't let the killer rabbits kill you this day. Although, luckily for him, they had no arrows anyway, so that wasn't even going to happen. <laughs> Let us talk of something else. Is this your first time hunting? Yes. This kind? Yes. I've been hunting since I could walk. If you're not a complete blockhead, you might learn something useful. I and hope so. cock it up entirely today, maybe I'll take you again. It's always helpful to have a minion at hand. As I said, I have hunted before, but it wasn't... Chasing bunnies with a pitchfork isn't hunting. Observe and learn. Scythe, Do actually. I can. Sir. I just hope he gives me some arrows. If he expects me to kill... Bunny rabbits with a club, it's not going to go very well. I'm going to go and put it out there. Speaking of, as we're running around, let me just make sure I do this the next time. We're going to switch over to our swordish kind of thing instead of having the bludgeon. So if we're fighting bandits out here, we want to probably take them out. Wait, is that someone on the road or is that my... That's a wagon. So I thought that was a dude clenched down by the road there. Listen, I wanted to ask you about scallops. I don't know if... That is, sir, I don't know if that's a suitable topic of conversation for the hunt. We're not hunting yet. I'd like to hear about it at last from someone who was actually there. The Cumans attacked Scallops and, um, oh, anyone who didn't flee. That's what they all say. I want details. Is it really necessary, sir? Arguing with the nobility again, eh? It seems you're a bit of a rebel. No, not at all, sir. It's just that... Well... It's hard for me to talk about. I see. So I'll have to get you drunk first. <laughs> Not sure even that would work. We'll have to find out, won't we? There's a nice little place just north of here. We'll camp there and you can tell me all about it. If you wish. Oh, I love so this. This is great. And don't really dally. Let's try and get there before the day's out. Hey, I'm jogging faster than your horse at this point. Oh, off we go. So if I grab that food before, I could have had a hard time here. We'll make camp here. Wait, 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 sir. I got this, I got this. Damn it. <laughs> so close, yet so far. Sorry, my lord. I failed to catch the rabbit. Um, Bring do I sit down as well? Bacon from the saddlebag. Oh, bring him some wine. Yeah, no problem. I'm on it, sir. Okay, we just like we made it. Uh, you want some wine from his saddlebag? Let's go and get this sorted out. Bacon? <laughs> this guy really is a lord. Bacon and wine. The perfect breakfast for any day. Coming up, sir. At long last. Oh, um, there you go. Oh, wait, I do want to handle the items. Confirm delivery. There you go, sir. So, are you enjoying being on the hunt? I am, although we haven't actually hunted anything yet. That doesn't matter. Hunting is a diversion. The main thing is to get out of Rate for a while. Listening to Hanush's lectures all day long would drive anyone mad. Interesting. Let's, just, let's, be, let's be nice and cordial. What would you do with your time? If I may ask, sir, what does a lord like you do all day? When I was little, I was awfully bored, I can tell you. There was always some courtier or teacher dogging my footsteps. Now I spend most of my time trying to learn from Sir Hanush. Governing is no joke, at least most of the time. Only last week I had to listen to complaints from my subjects. But that could be interesting too, couldn't it? My lord, this yokel here empties his piss pot in my yard. And sir, 
That old hag put a spell on my cow, and sir, my old woman is fucking half the village. <laughs> like a flock of sheep bleating all the time. Even study is more interesting. Interesting. Um, what are we going to hunt? What are we going to hunt? Cumans. What? Cumans? But... <laughs> you should see your face! <laughs> I got you there. <laughs> we'll see what we can get. But I'd like to bag a boar. One, at least. And a few hares, too, eh? But what about you? Before I couldn't get a word out of you, now your tongue's loosened. So, tell me about Scalitz. I heard Sigismund had a hundred banners there. Yep. I don't see why we wouldn't talk about it. I don't know, sir. I didn't have time to count them. Uh, there's... Yeah, it's got one. It's not easy for me to talk about, sir. My parents were killed right in front of my eyes. Well, couldn't you do anything about it? I mean to say, didn't Radzig put up a defence? They caught us unprepared. There was no time for anything. I wanted to save my parents, but I was too late. All right, then. I was only asking. Ah, uh, maybe that wasn't the... Yeah. I've, I didn't think he would go that way with that one. So I was going to say, like, it was, like, too quick to do anything. Not that I don't want to talk about it. I'm sorry, sir. I, I didn't mean... That's all right, Henry. Don't mind me. Sometimes I open my mouth before thinking, too. Well, never mind. Anyway, it's too late to go anywhere today. But tomorrow we set off at first light. Got it? Yes, yep. sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, I probably could have done a better conversation there then, so that was my bad. But we're trying to be a bit more careful what we pick with um, Henry in the future. The Lord be praised. Sir? Wait, can I ask Not him? now, blacksmith. Keep it for more. Farewell. Okay, how do I go to sleep, my friend? <laughs> That's what I was trying to figure out. Aha! Sleep is safe. But everybody, I'm probably going to be doing this. This is probably going to be it for today's episode because it's a little bit short than I would like. But I think hunting is probably going to be a good idea to do that in the morning in a new episode anyway. So I'll see how it works out with the old recording and stuff. But it probably will be it for today's episode. So everyone has enjoyed. There's going to be, as this is a full on 30, 50 hour RPG, there might be episodes where there's not a lot of happens or something. There's a lot of stuff happens. It just based on where in the game I am at that time. So hopefully people will enjoy the series nevertheless. And um, it will hopefully be available on one big playlist. So if you do want to just skip certain episodes, just feel free just go for the ones that will combat him but i won't be able to tell you beforehand what's going to be an exciting episode or one where we just live in the world of kingdom deliverance well that everybody thank you for watching and as always please like subscribe and comment below bye